have a boat today. Mine is the Blue Bayou, right over there. It's, um, it's about 20 years old. It's not old, old. Um, I just rebuilt it over the last year, and uh, today is her big debut. I grew up on a cat boat. Actually, the one that uh, Captain Kim owns, the Captain D, used to belong to my grandfather, Captain Dalzan was his name. He was a famous uh, seagoing captain here. From just a little kid, he used to take me and my brother and my cousins out, my grandmother. And we would go out there, sail into the North Sound, fish, get conk, you know, and um, I loved it. All righty, matey. It was a gentleman named Ray Jarvis and Kevin Brack in 1904. He built the first one. It's evolved over the years to be what it is today, I mean, which is a real work-oriented boat. It's not a race-oriented boat at all. It's a work boat that we race. And these are the boats that you put on the schooners that went turtle in. These are the boats that actually caught in turtles. The cat boats were painted blue because the turtles couldn't see it. They were the color of the water. And the old people say that why it's white and black was when they look up, they look like the stars in the skies. A cat boat did everything. I mean, if you needed to get from West Bay to Georgetown or from West Bay to Northside, wherever, you used the cat boat. It was the pickup truck. It was your taxi. It was your hearse. It was your mail truck. That sustained the people, you know, fishing, traveling. And uh, it, it was a major part of the livelihood in those days. The work in sailing, it is, I mean, it's just such a big sail for such a small boat that, you know, it's a, and it's usually just two people on the boat and one guy's got to be out on a weather board while you're trying to do this and man the sail and it's just a lot of work. I mean, there's going to be things broken on boats today that we've got to go straight home and fix. I mean, we're constantly repairing these boats, that's why they look, they always look like they're brand new. It's an ongoing, you know, we raise funds from the community and we spend it on, on repairs on the cat boats and, uh, you know, that's, that's a huge part of what we do. You know, we try to get kids involved in the repairs whenever possible as well. This little boy came on the boat, a little bit of boy, and he started to talk about a boat. And he knew as much as me. And I was wondering, I said, wonder where he learned that. You know, so I told the tourists, I said, listen, that's when you meet. When everything was finished that day, I said to him, I said, son, come here, where did you learn that? He said, I learned it. You don't remember you came to my school? And he remembered everything I told him in school. We can't really see where we're going if you don't look back at the past. And this is a part of Cayman history that is really uniquely Caymanian. Today is going to be a unique experience. I mean, you get an a chance to, to experience the Cayman cat boat at the public beach. And in the background, you'll see the million dollar run going by. This is really a first, and, and it really is a, a look at the old and the new at the same time. And it's, and, you know, it's typical of Cayman how we try and mingle, put everything together. And, you know, we, we hope people enjoy the show. Mm -hmm.